Hey everyone, welcome to Ecocalypse. So we have a newly dropped banner, which is Alliance Pillar. We have Bastet SSR and Garula SSR. So again, you have 50%, a 50% chance to get them just in case it triggers for this banner. So that is the problem with two SSR, you know, a uh, uh, high rate of chance in one banner. But anyway, let's go and see how, you know, what you'll be getting just in case that you want to pull for this banner, uh, I assume that they are affected by most of the the nerfs that have happened. So after this one, I'll be featuring and discussing the nerfs and if it's really worth it or not. So let's start with Bastet. So I haven't used Bastet yet. So uh, basic attack would be the 100% magic damage to a single enemy. But I don't think that's really really good as for the armor break in her in her ultimate so again the 20 percent chance is a bit small as well um for me she she is a subpar support at this point uh, unless if you could bring her to up about um that's 30 percent the 40 percent or the 50 percent range to inflict armor break then Definitely, she is worth getting. But as of this moment, at twenty percent, you'll have to, you know, you have to basically get more copies of her if you really want to enjoy the armor break that she gives. Armor break is actually big; reduces armor and resistance by ten, as well as damage reduction by ten percent, as long as you can have it trigger. And by the way. Um, she deals it, she deals damage of 160, which is kind of low. Um, magic damage in the in it in the target in the corresponding position and surrounding enemies. So, approximately around three to four targets, depending on who you target. Okay. So, and her last one, which is her passive, is Bastet bars the power of the dead to shelter her teammates. Again, you will benefit from her once she's dead. When retreating, she grants all ally shields equal to 200% of her attack. I don't like this type of passive because if you if your objective is to keep them alive, you won't really benefit from this one. So definitely my suggestion is, again, Bastet is a no-no at this point. But let's see what Garula has to offer. Definitely, I've seen the nerf that she's had. So, Garula swings her weapon and deals 90% physical damage to a single row of enemies. So, this is her basic attack. Before, her, her skill here, her ultimate skill, uh, has stun. But now, Garula wants her enemies to experience the abuse of the slaves she uh, have endured. She summons chains to deal 183% physical damage to three random enemies with and percent chance to cause each target to crit resist minus 20 percent i would prefer the stun that was a big deal actually they nerfed that and gave her crit resist 20. so at this point i don't think <laughs> i don't think i'm recommending her to you guys and also in pulling for this banner but her passive is good doesn't yield to anyone when her hp falls below 30 percent she has a 40 percent chance to become immune to control for two rounds so definitely um again an okay passive but the stun really nerfed her ability to control um units on the other side so definitely for this banner it's a no go no no um save your summons for other banners not this one this definitely will not uh, especially with the nerfs coming around, this banner is not going to help you that much unless you are really um, into these lovely ladies here, then go for them. So again, my take is do not summon, save your currency for future banners. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.